I remember that second when when I was in the seminary the second time at here at St. Mary's. Oh, I spent a lot of time in that chapel. Beautiful chapel for one thing, but like it was such a prayerful experience there. And uh-huh. I remember many times I was like, well, why God? What what are you what are you doing? Like, why am I feeling like I don't belong now? Like I thought you wanted me to be, be a priest, be your uh-huh. priest. So what what is happening? I like, can imagine many tears were shed in that chapel. Oh yeah. Yeah. Me and other guys all too. The other, all, all the other yeah. guys. That that place is so sacred for for priests and for people who discerned out yes. for everybody that, that walked in there. Um yeah. I have a lot of good memories from from Saint Mary's Seminary, even from uh Holy Trinity Seminary. It's just the brothers that I've got to know, and now they're priests or they've they're married now or something. What did it feel like watching them become priests? So I remember for uh, Father Rick's ordination to the diaconate. Uh huh. After his ordination, I, I came up to him and I was like, "You made it!" And just gave him a big hug. I was like, "You made it!" Uh-huh. And he was like, "Yeah, I made it." <laughs> wow. It was it was just this this sigh of relief, like going through all that all, the, like I understood their their journey and i had the privilege of of joining them in that and kind of seeing what they went through those yeah. early years and I, I could imagine you had some private conversations with them regarding yeah. your discernment yeah and your difficulties yeah and we shared with it with each other our difficulties um but yeah to finally see him at his ordination and to finally get up there and say we made it uh-huh like, we we knew we, we knew like all those tr- all that pain all that trouble all the all those all those classes that were really difficult or or just just a difficult you know prayer life figuring it out discerning it's just to see them get ordained it's like ah made it it you yeah Done. you have a special bond with them it's 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 kind of like seeing somebody in your military unit that you were in the mud with get a uh, you know a distinguished medal of some sort like the medal of honor or something. Yeah. That's probably what it's like, huh? Yeah, yeah. So it's it's beautiful to see that. And and then when they became priests, what was that like? Were you there at their ordination? I don't I don't think so. I think. No, I, I did. I, ca- I caught the end because I couldn't find parking. And I was really late. <laughs> <laughs> I was really late. I couldn't find parking. And yeah, it was downtown. It was, it was just so, uh, so hard to find parking there. But, oh, because uh, all the relatives and friends that are showing up. Yeah. yeah this yeah. is not a pandemic I, yeah, ordination. Yeah, yeah it was like a, 2019. So it was yeah. just before the pandemic. <laughs> but for the pandemic one, I, I couldn't go to the, the class that I was closer to. Um, oh, because it was yeah, it was it was that was down. that was my year. That was uh, if I stayed, I would have been ordained uh, in twenty twenty during the pandemic. Yeah, during the pandemic, and that was your group. And yeah, wow. and I I didn't get to I didn't get to go. Was it live streamed? It was live streamed, so, so I got to see to... parts of it. Uh huh. Wow. When I saw it, I was like, wow, I could have been next to him. You oh, could be is, there, yeah. Like so weird. Straight. Yeah. yeah. I was like, that is so weird, but. but you were you were robbed of the experience of hugging them afterwards and congratulating yeah. them. Yeah. And I got to go to uh, Father Took's little uh, reception, uh-huh. so I got to say my congratulations there. But I didn't get to go to their mass, yeah. to, their, um, to the um, ordination mass. Um, so that that's crazy. You would have been one of those pandemic ordinated priests or yeah. ordained priests. Yeah. Excuse me. <laughs> yeah, I would have. It was, but when I looked at it, at that time, when I was looking through, uh, when I was looking at that live stream, I was like, "Wow, I'm good. I'm good here. This is this, this is meant is, to be. This, this is, is meant yes, to be. Yes, exactly. Yep. Yeah. Yep. So you don't you didn't have any regret this time. Yeah. You weren't looking back. Right. I wasn't looking back. That romanticizing thing, my that tendency to romanticize the past has been controlled in a sense um, through my through discipline and through prayer life. Uh-huh. 